these games didn't let a lack of traditional financing get in their way. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 crowdfunded games. For this list, we ranked the best games that were funded primarily through crowdsourcing platforms, such as Kickstarter or Indiegogo. We're only looking at games that have been officially released at the time this video was produced. So, while we're all eagerly waiting for Star Citizen, you won't find them here. Not yet! There's still one more to save. No time. We have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed. Number 10. Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams Kickstarting our list is the spiritual successor to a 1987 Commodore 64 title, The Great Gianna Sisters, which was accused of being a ripoff of the original Super Mario Bros. Still, the series had enough loyal followers to garner 150,000 through Kickstarter. The result was this new platformer, which sees Gianna shift between two different dream dimensions at the press of a button. Doing so changes the theme of the stage, music, and Gianna's attack style. So, the visual feast is essentially just a bonus. <laughs> Number 9. Elite Dangerous <laughs> Though this title had three predecessors in its series of space trading and combat simulators, the designers had to turn to Kickstarter to fund a fourth outing. Fans responded, and they collected over 1.25 million pounds to make the game. They used it well, creating a galaxy with over 400 billion star systems. So, whether you want to be an intergalactic space trucker, or one of the deadliest mercenaries in the galaxy who ambushes intergalactic space truckers, this game is for you. Target destroyed. Number 8. Shadowrun Returns This isometric turn-based RPG is based on the classic sci-fi fantasy tabletop games, which later saw a video game release on the SNES and Genesis. After dedicated fans were outraged that the 2007 entry in the series was a multiplayer FPS, designer Jordan Weissman was able to recover the game's original license and, thanks to Kickstarter, raise $1.8 million to make a brand new game. What he delivered was a love letter to Shadowrun's tabletop and 16-bit roots, with a modern coat of paint. Number 7. The Organ Trail Director's Cut This title is pretty much what you'd expect. Actually, maybe not, considering it's a tribute to the Oregon Trail with zombies in it. Yet, we still managed to have fun with this retro-styled survival game. Though the game first came out as a free browser game without the needing of fan funding, developers, the men who wear many hats, turned to Kickstarter to create this expanded version for Windows, Mac, and Linux. With a mere $16,000 budget, it's the cheapest game on this list. Which just goes to show, you don't need a big budget to create something awesome. Number 6. Wasteland 2 The first Wasteland game was released way back in 1988, and is widely considered to be among the greatest post-apocalyptic games ever made. But developers in exile still had to go to Kickstarter to get their sequel going. Once they did, they were incredibly successful, raking in 2.9 million in fan contributions. He didn't want me going off half-cocked and shooting up all of Arizona looking for his killer. But I gotta find this guy. The money was used to create some of the most complex character management and leveling systems we've ever seen in the PC strategy genre. Though some may argue it's almost too dense. If it's an incredibly hardcore strategy RPG that you want, give Wasteland a try. Well, let me tell you Matthias's law, friends. Matthias's law is vengeance. Number 5. The Banner Saga. Once a strong, thriving city, the walls of Frostwetter now just keep the howling winds at bay. With luck, they'll hold out against dredge as well. Sometimes, you need to be idiosyncratic in order to grab the internet's attention on Kickstarter. And this Viking-themed tactical RPG certainly does that. 
It has beautiful hand-drawn artwork in the vein of 1960s Disney cartoons, an emotional story where your actions feel like they have deep consequences and intense turn-based combat. The developers started on this project after their work on BioWare's MMORPG Star Wars The Old Republic, and they solicited over $700,000 in donations. And our last collection before returning to the capital. Number four, Broken Age. My name is Marek, and what I'm about to show you is no game. We'd expect nothing less than the finest storytelling video games have to offer from legendary developer Tim Schafer. And that's exactly what he gave us in this point-and-click adventure. Oh my! A fresh face rises from below. Before you ask, let me answer. Yes, you may live here in Maryloft forever. Originally known as Double Fine Adventure, the project garnered nearly 3.5 million on Kickstarter, making it one of the most successful crowdfunded initiatives of any type. It tells the story of two teenagers, Shay, a cosmonaut on a ship that houses various infant creatures, and Vela, who is determined to escape her fate as a sacrificial lamb. Look, I think it's time we start fighting that monster. You're just going through that anger phase after not getting picked. The two stories can be swapped at any time, allowing you plenty of time to get to know both characters and their stories very well. On the bright side, every new day means a new chance to die on a runaway train. Fake train wreck, please. Number three, Divinity Original Sin. I've always heard there's typically more to a king's tomb than meets the eye. It could be a myth, or it could be our lucky day. Next up on our list is not just one of the greatest crowdfunded games, but one of the best old school RPGs released in recent years. Watch out. Orcs that large think with their clubs, not their heads. Developers Larian Studios raised over $1 million on Kickstarter, and they rewarded their financiers with 60 hours of nostalgia-inducing classic turn-based combat. A clever two-character system, quirky humor, and punishing combat all blend to create an experience that is as rewarding as it is addictive. Number two, FTL, faster than light. Here's yet another title that breathed new life into a dying genre. This time, it's the roguelike, now transplanted beautifully into a sci-fi setting. You control a spaceship belonging to the Galactic Federation, and you have to make your way across several space sectors to reach their last fleet while a pursuing rebel force is hot on your tail. It's an unforgettable yet very challenging journey as you venture through the unforgiving regions of space. Raising over $200,000 on Kickstarter for the project, it sold enough copies to warrant an expansion and an iOS port, making it one of the first big Kickstarter success stories. Before we get to our number one, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. Number one, Shovel Knight. Burying the rest of the competition is this gorgeous tribute to 8-bit games. Its side-scrolling platformer gameplay and 2D visuals might not look like much at first, but its beautiful color scheme, addictive as hell gameplay, top-notch level design, and catchy chiptune soundtrack make it a joy to play. Citing the greatest elements from 8-bit games like Mega Man, Zelda 2, and DuckTales, developer Yacht Club Games created something completely groundbreaking. Raising over $300,000 on Kickstarter, Yacht Club actually ran out of money months before the game launched, but they pushed ahead to complete the game on dedication alone and released something amazing. Do you agree with our list? Oh, I understand. You're quite mentally ill, aren't you? Have no fear, you've come to the right place. 
Which crowdfunding campaign did you support? <laughs> you look so handsome. For more successful top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.